Hey guys, welcome back. We are really kicking it into gear on this Chevelle. We got the, the body off, everything disassembled. We also got the uh, frame uh, from our friends over at Marco Sandblasting. They blasted the whole frame, nice, clean, inside, outside. Uh, everything's bare white metal now. And now we have uh, kind of run against the clock to get all this stuff done before it starts to rust because it literally starts to rust. If it was humid in here, or if it was raining on the way here, it would already be rusty. So we got to get this thing all done. Get a, We're going to box in the frame. We're going to make our own frame boxing kit by, by making these pieces and everything right here. We'll box the frame all in. We'll stiffen that up all the way front, back. And uh, also we'll fill in all the holes up front. Uh, get rid of all the extra uh, universalized holes. We're going to weld all those shut. Smooth everything out. Then we're also going to do a mini tub on this as well. And we're also going to uh, shave the back of the frame rails down and we'll make all new uh, boxing metal for that. And we'll, uh, we'll brace it all in, we'll reinforce it. Then we'll have some room for some 335, uh, 3520 tires in the rear. And uh, that should give us ample traction uh, with this. And then we are going to start uh, getting into some paint work. We'll also do a little bit more structure here. We're bending up some tubes right here to structure this uh, inside. All right, what we got going on here is Bobby is spot welding these holes. You can see on the other side of the frame here, all the extra holes that are in this uh, mount. He's welding these holes shut right now, holding a copper spoon behind the holes. The, the weld doesn't stick to the copper, so you put that behind there, you can plug weld these big holes up with just spotting all the way around it like that. And you can fill these big holes up without making a plug for it, and you just weld against the copper spoon. And now we're going to move on to, uh, as soon as we get done doing that, we'll grind and fill, grind all those welds smooth. And then we'll go to a uh, putting all these frame reinforcing boxing plates on. I'll give you an idea what that looks like. It's just a quick there, just a couple little plug welds like that, and you can do half inch diameter holes by holding a copper spoon behind it quick little tip to make your uh, welding life a little bit easier. Got a little more welding going on. We got all the frame boxing plates all put in place now. Bobby's starting to weld it up. We got a stitch welding. So when you do this, you want to bounce around a little bit. You don't want to just weld from one end to the other. Just kind of bounce back and forth a little bit from side to side, top to bottom. And only about a half an inch to an inch weld at a time and then you want to uh, come back and stress relieve that with a hammer and uh, then grind it all down we'll flip it over to do the other side hey guys welcome back we are getting to some of our modifications with this Chevelle build right now we got our frame back from Marco sandblasting they did an awesome job and super fast turnaround for our uh, getting everything blasted, took all the grime off of here, all the flaky rust off of here. We did find some spots in the, uh, in the frame that need a little attention, like our body mounts. We got a couple body mounts that rotted away from water building up on there. So we had uh, designed and laser cut some, uh, some pieces. We're gonna weld those in to get rid of our body rot anyways. We got some good metal around that, so that should be no problem at all. We're going to do a little bit of cutting, got some old pieces of tubing from something else that we had used uh, at one time or another. I want to just show you a quick little way, you want to cut a nice straight line all the way around this to make it cut off square. You can use something, they sell something like this for doing pipe work, it's called a pipe wrap. And now you wrap this thing around it until your edges line up. And once your edges all line up, you know that piece is on there square. So you can take this and uh, take your line and now 
you just transfer your mark all the way around this uh, pipe wrap and you don't necessarily need a pipe wrap or anything though either and you can just use a straight edge piece of cardboard it has to be cut straight of course but you can wrap something like that around there as well and uh, line the edges up on it and there you go you got a nice line to follow all the way around there you just got to make sure all your your cut edges line up and square up and there you got a nice square line so if you turn it you got a line something that you can go by taking the burrs off of it right now and we're going to also cut this again on the other side we got other cuts. now we're just trying to figure out how to get these really awkward pieces to uh, square up and be the same gaps and to uh, their these angles are both 45 degree angles but there's a step in the middle here so it's going to be there going to be two different elevations here and then we're just trying to get everything evened up inside of here so this triangle is ballpark same size as this one and this one to be more eye appealing and to get the structural integrity uh, now we're just going to mark these uh, pieces where we're going to cut them off uh, again here we'll cut these at a 45 degree angle and then we're going to uh, notch cope those so they'll fish mouth around and it'll fit right around this and uh, like I say take your time with the fitment fitment is everything it's called an annular cutter and uh, it's kind of like a hole saw only way way better and it's got cutting tips like this it normally goes in there's a center pin that you would normally center up on a hole but you can use one of these on a Bridgeport milling machine as long as you lock the table down both ways and then we should be able to bore through here and put a nice cope notch so it fits the other tube well. So I'll show you a quick little trip that you can, uh, that might get a little noisy. Turn the phase converter on and now I'm just gonna throw this thing and being as this thing is, it turns into kind of like a bell. So we're gonna use this as an edge finder and I got a digital readout, but right now I'm just gonna run that up against that side until it just starts to make noise right there and now we're gonna reset our Y and then we're gonna go over the other side and we're gonna come down we're gonna just touch off until that makes noise again it's basically using that as an edge finder. Okay, just made noise contact right there. And now we go 2991 divided by 2. And if I had my calculator on me, 5 we're going to go with. That's going to be our center. So now we're just going to come in until this touches again. Right there, we're touching. We're going to zero this. And then we're going to go in 375, which should work out as a good coat for this. That's 3 eighths of an inch. Make sure a table is locked in both directions hard. I'll come over here maybe. He's going to start coming down real slow.
speed this up with the table speed here instead. that made. Nice straight cut. Now, see that should fit right around it like that. And now we got a nice sweet. She fits like a glove. Use a coat like that. Nice cope, and it's got a little toenail right here that copes all the way around that as well. That's at our 45 degree angle, so that will fit against our wall right here. And boom, there we go, got a nice little fitment right there. And we'll still bevel that a little bit all the way around there, so we get nice penetration all the way around that as well. And the same thing with this one, we got our little cope like that right there, nice centered up cope. 45 on that end This is a different size than that one is but uh, Now that one will butt into this piece here Right there boom we get that all welded up and Everything fits nice so that completes this whole one side and now we just got a mirror image this on that side yet So we still got a couple more cuts to make a couple more copes and then we should have all the stuff ready for that side, too Sweet moving forward Hey guys, thanks for watching and uh, we got a lot of stuff done here. We got a lot of really cool stuff coming up and I hope you guys like the traction that we're taking on right now. We're going to really start kicking into the gear with a lot of cool modifications. Now we got done that boring part that everybody knows how to tear cars apart. Now we're going to do some modifications and we're going to teach you guys a lot of tips and tricks and uh, we're going to make this thing pretty kick ass in a short amount of time. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below and follow us click that little bell button down below and that'll give you the indication of when we post up a new video every week we're going to be posting that so don't forget to like that too